Hey, how's it going? It's Carl, AKA Carl Drum Tech. I'm here right now in Wilson Park in Torrance, California. As you can see behind me, uh, we got a lot of softball going on. Uh, I actually have two, uh, I have a softball game behind me and one to my left. So I'm um, so hopefully uh, a uh, derelict softball doesn't come flying my way and knock my camera off its uh, perch here. But um, I just got finished with a boot camp workout with my physical trainer and uh, some other people who are into the fitness game. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today is the relationship between working out, working, worrying about your health and drumming itself. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed by now, but I approach everything in a very holistic manner. Meaning whatever I learn in drumming can be applied to life and whatever whatever I learn in life can be applied to drumming so that's kind of you know how I approach things that's how I like to teach things and I'm sure you guys have noticed that in some of my past videos um, in how I try to relate everything with drumming to uh, how you approach everything in life and uh, what's a good example of that for example I'm sure you've heard a lot of times from your instructors or your drum captains or whatever when you're in a drum line or you know or marching band or whatever it is color guard whatever you're doing that um, you know if you learn the lesson of working hard this can serve you well for the rest of your life and I absolutely agree with that lesson all the lessons I've learned um, you know in uh, being in a drumline and teaching drumline I have been able to apply to my regular life and uh, my career and job and things like that you know the lesson is right like if you work hard um, you know good things happen that's absolutely true um, if you learn that lesson early on especially when you're younger and being in those um, marching activities uh, you learn this you learn to apply these to the rest of your life and you it makes you that much more successful uh, just because you know how to work hard and maybe you have that advantage over uh, over other people who did not learn that lesson from doing marching band or playing in sports or um, you know uh, getting involved in clubs and uh, academics and things like that I'm sorry I got distracted there by screaming people but what I wanted to talk about today is uh, since I you know I just I was thinking about how you know I was working out today doing like my boot camp uh, with my group uh, is how that relates to drumming so what do I mean by that well think of it this way I believe that people approach life in two ways one in the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain and what do I mean by that well for example right so let's apply this to drumming let's say um, you know if you want to you know like uh, look for I guess a uh, pleasure like or a temporary pleasure right it's like um, you know maybe you don't want to go to rehearsal one day maybe instead of going to rehearsal you want to spend your time you know hanging out with your friends maybe you want to um, instead of practicing maybe you'd rather go on the internet and surf Facebook or something like that right um, that is the pursuit of pleasure temporary pleasure right because it's like you know you get something a little like spike out of it in terms of you know um, you know the uh, good feelings that you get from doing those things but in the long run it serves you absolutely no purpose right um, on the other hand um, you know going to, uh, to in search of pain right is like going to the rehearsal and uh, maybe doing calisthenics before you know the rehearsal maybe you know doing endless amounts of reps maybe tracking around the field all those involve physical pain not to mention the mental pain of like you know having to think all the time as far as like you know playing clean with others maybe you're getting pressure from your drum captain to play cleaner to stay in line and all these things and that is pain right um, and you know that's that's really easy to avoid because it, it hurts right but what I'm trying to teach you today is that you know not all pain is bad and not all pleasure is good so you know obviously right if you go to rehearsal you go through the pain um, you know it's gonna be good for you in the long run if you avoid the play the, you know the quick little pleasures of you know doing stupid stuff like surfing Facebook all day or watching TV or you know just you know kind of hanging out with your friends um, which is you know not necessarily a bad thing but too much of that you know in lieu of doing something that is really good for you like developing your skills of you know and habits of working hard by being in a drum line um, it's uh, you know it, it's just really bad for you in the long run and uh, I had somebody uh, basically uh, flash your car lights at me because they're about to leave uh, so that's just it's not planned <laughs> but it's really interesting right I'm now like a little bit more illuminated but I digress so you know it's just it's the same thing right it's like when you're working out obviously you're gonna go through a lot of pain and today I went through a lot of pain doing my workouts my physical trainer is very 
very strict. She's very, very harsh. And she makes you do things, you know, she makes you do it in a certain amount of time. And then you work your butt trying to make that time. And whatever time you make it in, the next time when you're already tired, she forces you to do better than that. And that causes a lot of physical pain, a lot of discomfort. But guess what, right? Like in the long run, that is better for me because I get stronger, because I develop my willpower, because then I learn things like, you know, like, uh, you know, pain is just something that's you know can be controlled like to where like if you mentally focus and say no you know f the pain i'm gonna go through this um it's gonna be better be better for you in the long run so um when you're going through rehearsal and you might do things that you might not not enjoy um just try to enjoy that moment you know whatever it is that you don't like you know, maybe it's a long three hour rehearsal i had a lot of students who tell me you know like you know are, are like they're going around saying what's the time how much time do we have left you know you, you have a clock like what, what time is it and it's just like one of the most annoying questions you can ask because what are you saying are you saying that you're bored of rehearsal are you saying that you know it's tiring are you saying that you know you don't like it i mean come on it's like if we make this commitment to be in drumline to be in marching band to be in color guard we make a commitment to do it all out Right? And if you're not gonna go all out, don't even bother. Don't even do it at all. Don't even go to rehearsal because you're not gonna get anything productive done. Maybe you're gonna get a little bit, you know, uh, something done, but it's not the full extent of what you can really do if you really apply yourself, if you really, you know, just kind of like avoid these mindset of, you know, it's, it's painful or it's difficult or it's uncomfortable and then you wanna get out of it as quickly as possible. Just know that it's like an investment, right? Whatever pain you put in, it's gonna be better for you in the long run because it's gonna teach you so many things. It's gonna make you that much stronger and it's gonna apply for the rest of your life. You're gonna be that much more successful. And uh, so the next time you're in rehearsal and next time you're looking at the clock saying, oh, how much time do we have left? Think about, no, I need to enjoy this moment because I don't have this, mo you know, this once this moment is gone, it's gone forever. Enjoy the fact that you're in that rehearsal. You know, you only have so many rehearsals in your life, you know, being in a marching band, especially if you're just gonna do it in your high school years. You only have so many rehearsals. You can literally count out how many rehearsals you have. And uh, once it's gone, it's gone forever, right? So you might as well enjoy that moment. Get the most out of every single uh, minute of practice. Don't look at the clock. Don't think, oh man, this sucks. Just think, I'm enjoying the time that I'm here right now and I'm gonna try to produce as much as I possibly can. And that is what I wanted to impart upon you today. Don't always look for pleasure. Don't always avoid pain. It's very uh, easy to fall into that trap because we're, you know, uh, it's like it's almost like obvious, right? It's like pleasure is good, pain is bad. But guess what? Not all pleasure is good, and not all pain is bad. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much if you've been watching, and until next time, take care. Sorry, I was kind of watching uh, somebody hit a pop fly and I was wondering if it was gonna get to me. Anyways, I kind of forgot something. Uh, I wanted to try this new thing out called question of the day. And um, my question for you in relation to the video I just did is, what is your favorite thing to do that most in drumming, in marching band, in color guard, whatever, the marching arts, what is your favorite activity that most people might find uncomfortable or painful or uh, boring, whatever the case may be. Um, could it be, you know, tracking around the field? Could it be the calisthenics before rehearsal? Could it be the endless repetitions? Could it be your instructor yelling at you for doing the wrong thing? Like, which one of those, or if you could think of another thing, which one of those is your favorite? Meaning, do you, like, you know, like you get amped up for, amped up for it, like you get excited about it, like, yes, endless tracking, yes, en endless repetition, yes, my instructor yelling at me. Which one of those, is your favorite leave it in the comments below and participate in the discussion i invite you guys to let your voice be heard and uh help other people out in terms of enjoying the process of doing things that are uncomfortable for your own personal growth peace